You know what? I got something interesting. It's the DJI Osmo Action 4. The latest, because it was only released a few weeks ago, action camera from DJI. And of course, the direct competition for the GoPro Hero 10 and Hero 11. I bought it, I put it on my drone, I tested it, so you don't have to. But to know that, you have to stick until end of this video. Let's begin with something simple. The DJI Osmo Action 4 is extremely similar to the GoPro Hero 10 and 11 series. Basically the same form factor. One LCD in the back, one LCD in the front. Also in the front you get the lens or actually the lens cover. You can replace with ND filter or different adapters, two buttons and mounting mechanism at the bottom of the camera. With with GoPro you get those foldable flaps, while with Osmo Action you get this magnetic adapter DJI is using for quite a while now. In terms of other features that are important for the FPV pilots who would like to record their flights with 4K, well, they are very similar products. 4K, plenty of FPSs, and if you are not a cinematographer that wants to get the best of your camera, they are basically the same feature-wise, with some minor differences, of course. And even Osmo Action 4 and the GoPro 11 offer the 10-bit color depth. So, well, yeah, the same. However, there are a few practical differences. The difference number one is that Osmo Action is smaller and lighter. Bear in mind, not by much, but it is smaller and it is lighter and it is a big thing if you are flying a 5-inch drone. Then the DJI Osmo Action 4 has a proper logarithmic color profile. If you enable the D-Log M on your Osmo Action, you get a proper log format of your videos. On top of that, DJA shares the official loot that converts the D-Log M into the Rec 709. The proper loot to handle D-Log M into the Rec 709 it is kinda important thing. And then it appears that the Osmo Action 4 is not recording gyro information into the videos. Maybe the gyro flow does not know yet how to use this information, but based on my experiments in the last few days, well, the gyro flow was basically useless. Over here, let's be honest, GoPro seems to be winning. I kinda hope that the situation will change and in some time the Osmo Action 4, after all, will include the gyro information the gyro flow would be able to read. However, I do have to say that the Rocksteady Plus stabilization built into the Osmo Action 4 seems to be working just fine. No problems detected so far. Now, let me roll some more of the HD footage so you can by yourself see how the Osmo Action 4 is representing colors and all that important crap. And luckily, we will see no jello at all.
I like it. Smaller, lighter, proper color handling and the proper lock format. One more time, this is kinda important if you want to have something more than just a footage. And finally, the Rocksteady Plus stabilization seems to be working just fine. No jello, dynamic range seems to be just fine, no problems were handling darker areas of the image, and after all, works okay, or maybe even more than okay to be honest. And finally, the DJI Care program is cheaper than the GoPro subscription. So if you buy the insurance for the camera and you will want to replace the camera, the DJI should be a cheaper option. For the time being, I'm switching from my old Hero 10 Black to the Osmo Action 4 on my drones. Because, well, why not? Of course, I will have to design and print a few holders for the camera, but after all, I think I will be happy with the transition. Not selling the GoPro yet, though. It has some other advantages that the Osmo Action lacks, but those are not important if you only want to use the camera for the FPV flights after all. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!